Hello and welcome to Wonderland. My name is Allison, the self-proclaimed priestess of Wonderland, and I'm here to invite you on a journey to the moon. We love the moon here in Wonderland, and we are calling all moon pirates to come along on this Follow the Moon Challenge. Today is day 28, and we have a waning crescent Capricorn moon. We talked in more detail about Capricorn qualities and energy yesterday, so you might want to go check out that video for more details about Capricorn energy, but today I want to focus on the fact that it is a cardinal sign. And if you remember from the other cardinal signs, this means that it starts off a season or kicks off a season, and in this case it's the start of winter. Because they start or initiate the season, all cardinal signs are go-getters, self-starters, initiators. Uh, they're usually go, 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 uh, workaholics, uh, can-do attitude, problem solvers, but they usually have trouble or difficulty slowing down winding down, or just taking care of themselves in general and have to be careful about burning out. And the reason I'm mentioning this now is because we are in the waning crescent phase and we need to start winding down, taking care of ourselves and conserving our energy just like the moon is conserving hers. In the book, The Astrological Guide to Self-Care by Constance Stella is uh, an interesting read. It goes into very detailed information on recommendations for how to go about self-care for your particular sign. She also has, um, I think they're called the little books of Leo self-care, the little books of Scorpio self-care and um, so there's like 12 separate little books that are just one particular sign but I, I recommend getting if you're interested in in this information I recommend getting this one because uh, you want to I, I always look at my sun moon and rising sign whenever I'm looking at anything so either get your three your three books or get this one that has all of them uh, it's pretty in-depth with recommendations of like it's not it's not your typical like BuzzFeed article of like Capricorn likes likes to go hiking so climb a mountain like it it's not like silly stuff like that it's actually kind of some of it's like really random and I don't understand where it comes from but it's a really interesting read and now that we've looked at all of the zodiac signs for this moon cycle you're going to start noticing throughout the entire year that some of the zodiac signs are going to do better during waxing phases and some of the zodiac signs are going to do better for the waning phases and for example in this moon cycle a capricorn is not going to do very good with a waning phases particularly a waning crescent phase because that's low energy and capricorn wants to not stop until they reach the goal. So for Capricorns, it would be really good to set self-care goals, making making a list, setting up a chart, and, and breaking down those steps to achieve those self-care goals. Uh, this might be a workout plan, a meal plan, and an exercise routine. Or it's really good for Capricorns to set up an, a reward system. If you accomplish your goals, then you get to treat yourself with something special. Uh, this encourages Capricorns to not only achieve their goals, but to also check off that self-care thing. It's also good for Capricorns to schedule these things because Capricorns are going to be very busy. They're always, they're always going to put work before 
uh, personal things. So get something on the schedule, get something on the books. And so it helps if this is, in, for example, booking a massage, setting an appointment so that you hold yourself accountable by not canceling that appointment uh, and somebody else is involved. Like set plans with your friends, make a date and put it on your calendar and Capricorn will make it happen. And I would say that out of all of the zodiac signs, it's the it's the cardinal signs that might struggle the most with self-care and the waning moon phases. Aries is going to be the one that really needs to be careful about burning out because they are just going to go, 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 and they don't know when to stop. Um, and they also <laughs> need to be wary about finishing things. So... Again, it might be good for them to schedule things so that they have a stopping point or a break point, um, setting little breaks throughout the day uh, so that you are actually taking a break. And I, I also recommend to my Aries massage clients to work out, do some cardio, burn off all that excess energy so that they're able to actually relax when they get on the massage table. Cancer's just not going to rest until they know that everybody else is taken care of. They're the ones that are going to like be standing up eating, eating dinner in the kitchen while everyone else is sitting at the table uh, because they're going to continue to like get up and serve people and somebody wants a drink, they go get up and get it. So cancer just needs to remember that you, you can't uh, fill everybody else's cup if you don't fill yours. You have to fill your cup first, put yourself first, and make your self-care a priority, and then you will have enough energy and strength to continue to take care of everybody else. Out of all of the cardinal zodiac signs, I would probably say Libra is probably better at do uh, managing self-care because of that balance aspect and the association with Venus and pleasure and luxury. Um, but kind of in the similar way to cancer energy of not wanting to stop until everybody else is taken care of, Libra is going to have some of that aspect too because they, they want everything to be fair and balanced and equal. So Libra's the only reason a Libra might not take care of themselves if, if they're like, their partner isn't able to go get a massage with them. Like they want everybody to have equal opportunities for self-care. So be a Capricorn and schedule your self-care. Get all of your work done before you allow yourself to take a break. And we will see you tomorrow for Aquarius energy. Because we have come full circle, my moon pirates.